Association as well in Marabina. Uh, just to give you a quick update, I had a phone call from the leader yesterday to say that the uh, budget, the state budget has come out and there's, a, there's uh, money on the table, $16 million I understand, for feasibility studies across 10 uh, railway sites, uh, Marabina being included. Unfortunately, I think we're not top priority anymore. There's a couple ahead of us um, from what I was told yesterday, but we're certainly on the map. And uh, in, from the traders' position, we are agitating to have a voice. And I think this is one of the things that uh, a, a night like tonight is terrific because what it does is says our community is willing to, to say how it feels about issues and, and take a stand and have a voice. And what we need to do is then um, either through the bank or the Traders Association or some of our leaders within the community is to make sure that our voice and our concerns and our desires are heard at both council and state government, all the state players, that we we have a say and that uh, we, we get to um, be a part of the, um, the development of our own community for our own needs and for our own future. So that's kind of where we are at the moment, um, but I'm, when some initiatives are start, will start to take place over the next couple of years, hopefully people around these tables here will get involved so that we have a strong representation for the Murrumbina community. <laughs> Thank you for a round of applause. Thank you, sir.